What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Kurt Yo and today we are back for another episode of my team review series which I think today will be the last actual review episode and then the next episode after this we will cap it off as of course the season is, is just dawned on me is six days away. We've just got six days until the Premier League is back on our strings. That's a really awkward time for a software update to come up. Don't know if there's any details on that, but I will cancel or blank all of that out if there is. But today we are going to be viewing a team. Just one team. Uh, we're not back on two teams. And um, next episode, you'll see what I've got planned. But um, yeah, I think I'll do every single team that has been sent to me on Twitter that I haven't already done. Um, or at least the, uh, if I haven't got space on the leaderboard, earliest ones up until now. And yeah, everyone, if you want to send me your team, you haven't had to, um, anything done so yet. If you already sent me it and it's on Twitter, don't send a new one because you'll definitely be in the next episode. But if you haven't sent me yet, tweet me at KurtYo or your or whoever the fuck you say my name, and I'll get to it. But today we're going to be viewing my team, um, and you know we've done it. It's seventy, seventy for my team. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But um, we're going to be reviewing. Um, my team, and it has changed a lot. Um, it, I, it's constantly changing. I think I've got something I want to maybe stick with. I have got 0.5 million in the bank. I'm not sure where I want to spend it at the moment, but I think I've got a few ideas of where I want to invest my money. But basically, let's go over my team. In goal, we have Guzan and we have Czech. Um, let's start off with Guzan. Guzan for me. He's a three star, um, personally. For me, isn't he's a good goalkeeper, but I feel like Villa, they are, sh they, they've been, they were shaky under um, Sherwood, and he's not a, a Pulis sort of man or a Pardew sort of man that can strengthen up teams, and make them really hard to play against. Very good manager. I mean, credit to him. I think he's a very, um, quite, I think he's a quality manager, but I feel like um, they're too weary I suppose at the back, too worrying at the back all the time, with Ron Vlaar vacating the club, they lost a big leader, haven't actually replaced him with another big leader or big like, um, big voice in that um, defence um, department, so that could haunt them, and Czech, we've gone through this time and time again with Czech and Courtois, it's a five star player for them. Um, On to the defence, I have Cresswell, Yanmar, Lescott, Ivanovic and Olsen. Um, if I said I've got 0.5 million in the bank. The one thing I would change um, is getting rid of Cresswell and bringing in Zabaleta. And that gives me uh, an extra bit of money. I feel like City could be much better this season. Um, but, you know, I keep on looking at Pellegrini and thinking it's a matter of time, really, until Guardiola comes up or another big manager around the world comes up. I'm out of work that they can grab. Um, unfortunately for him, but we're going to stick with Cresswell for the um, object of this video, and he is 5.5 million pounds. I've got him valued at 3.5 million pounds. No, I haven't. I've got him at 3.5 star. That was a bit bad for me. Now 3.5 stars. Um, in the person, I feel like is um, warranted 5.5 million pounds. You'll get you um, a decent amount of points. Average score though, and. Um, had a good season, hopefully you can build on it. We'll get you an average score, maybe a little bit above average for that sort of price. That's why he's 3.5 star. Me seeing about um, you know, 3 star being the average. Then we move on to Yanmart. I feel like I've done him before, but I looked back through and apparently I haven't. Uh, but Yanmart is a 4 star for me. Um, because he had a fantastic season. You look at defenders um, last season, um, by the total score. You know, he's quite high up. Like, uh, there he is. He's quite high up, considering you look at 118 points. That's good for a fullback. You know, there's other defenders up there. You know, but he's the easily Newcastle's best defender. I feel like at the moment, and he can definitely improve on it. That was 118 points, and he said like, there's a lot of play. He's pretty much first, not quite way down. But you look at it, and that's 118 points with eight clean sheets. Newcastle could be hoping to get a lot more than that. 15 to 20, I can say, if they have a good season, which is what they should be aiming for. You get a lot of clean sheets of that, even if you get just a few more, 118, maybe take it up to about 138. If you get and just say clean sheets of four points, you can have a five clean sheets, that's 20 points. 
you get another 20 points and all of a sudden you're propelled up to here just behind Baines, just above Azpilicueta of Chelsea you know, it's um, it's something to look at maybe, it's something to co really consider I think he's definitely got the potential this season to go higher up 8 assists as well, that is definitely something that will help when you're a defender Lescott, £5 million again likewise with, Jesus Christ, the scream outside £5 million again gets you 4 Don't like children. Guess you four star rating. Um, I'm I don't know where I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna carry on. Screw it. Um, guess you a four star rating. Um, he's a solid centre back. He again is also high up. Um, here with West Bromwich Albion, and also he's a part of the Pulis regime, the new team. And um, he did a good work, um, bit of work last season, 127, 15 clean sheets from West Brom. If he can just add a few more goals to his game, like I say, goals, 6 points, you know, another 2 or 3 goals, that's 18 points. He's currently on 127, that propels him right up there to the Bertrand, the Fonts, the Jagielkas, the Baines, above them. That is how important goals are to defenders, especially on this sort of thing. Um, Ivanovic is 5 star, I think he's, I think he's been in every team bar 1. Um, so far, £7 million gets you the best defender in the league. That's why he is that price. And lastly is Olsen, £4.5 million. And I put him as a four star. I've already done this before because in the championship he was, um, you know, I think he got um, nine assists in the championship, which is one more than Jan might. If he can carry that on into the Premier League, and if Norwich can be the solid team they are then he can easily be on Jan Mart's points plus more £4.5 million. Pounds. That's a good signing. On time midfield, we have Henderson, Silva, Jordan Ibe, or Ebe, I don't know how you say his name, Sigurdsson, and Hazard. Um, Henderson is £7 million pounds, um, on this, and he gets you an easy four-star rating. I think he's been in quite a lot of the teams. Um, a solid player. Had a good season last season. We'll hope to improve on that this season if we can go on to midfielders and look. As you can see, he is quite high up. If he can improve on that, he can push up higher on the Fabregas and Cazorla's score last season. And how important a um, midfielder Cazorla is for Arsenal. Without Cazorla, they don't tick. They do have um, Sanchez, you know, they do have many of the other quality players like Ozil, but they don't tick without Cazorla. He's the sort of a the player that links up the attack with the defence and that is a, a key player to have and he, Henderson can easily rise up above his point score which is well, amazing to look at. He gets you four, um, Silva gets you a five star rating, um, ten million pounds, like I say with one midfielders he's up there, fantastic midfielder and um, you know, I, can, you, I think we could see him improve even on that. If you look at his points total um, 12 goals, 12 assists. He was poor at points. He could easily improve on that. His game time as well. You bump him up to the 3,420, I believe it is. Um, yeah, 3,420 is the most you can play this season. And you look at Silva, you've got almost 1,000. Let's say you can probably score by about another 30 to 40 maybe, even with an improved form. And currently that, that score takes you easy into the hazards. He played a lot of football last season. Sanchez, I don't think he played as much, but still, they're on the same level if you count up the point or the minutes that, um, that Sanchez lost. And that was why Silva, £10 million, for me, is a steal, even at £10 million. And you've got Jordan and I, £5 million. He's there just to link the teams together. I feel like now I've got Guzan in the team, every player I had um, before with Mason in my team will have been starting. And that gave me too many uh, options. Whereas um, now I feel like Ibe is going to be the one that will sit back on the bench. Maybe he won't play enough, but I feel like it could be a breakout season for him. It could be the season where he jumps up and says, I've got a voice and I want to be heard. And that could be good for them. Let me move on to Sigurdsson. £7.5 million. Pounds. I'm not sure. Um, by the way, I rated Jordan Ibe a 3. Um, I forgot to add that. Uh, not sure about Sigurdsson, to be honest. Um, £7.5 million. Pounds. He's going to never go for a good season. I don't. I think I've. I, there's another one. Yeah, I think I've done it before, but I couldn't find him. But I've rated him as a four-star player um, because he's fantastic on the ball. You know, look at his points-wise, 154. You can look at that, and you could think maybe an extra 30 to 40 points from him as well as Silver. And the 154 takes up 194. That is easy up there. You know, he's, if if you had the full playing time, point-wise, one of the best midfielders in the league. He's a fantastic midfielder, and his stats show it. You know. Last last season, seven goals and ten assists. You know when he was in his prime, 
before the poor two seasons he had. Look at that. That's an, a sublime season, his first season. If he can mimic a form like that, it's definitely one to watch. And then, of course, the five-star hazard. Why why he wouldn't be five-star, I don't understand. And then, final three, the Kurt Yo triplet. I haven't actually tweeted that. I'm going to tweet that as this video is released. The hashtag Kurt Yo triplet of Jerome, Costa, and Dini. Jerome gets you three stars, Costa gets you five stars, and Dini gets you 3.5 stars. Don't know why I did it so sassy-like. Um, but Jerome, because he's basically like the Dini, but he's had um, he's point five million pound less for a reason, and he's had history in the Premier League. Most of it not being too good for the form-wise, um, and he hopefully will look, look to improve that as he is Norwich's best striker at the moment. Dini has had brilliant form in the last season of the Championship. Can he take that over? I don't know. Will the Premier League be too much of a test? I don't know. That's why 3.5 stars is for him. And Costa at 5 stars, he's looking like he might not start at the start of the season. and He missed out on the Champion Championship League, missed out on the Community Shield, so, you know, was not to, we don't know, but his form says at least 150 points in over or just over 2,000 minutes. It's, it's insane form. That's easily a 225 in 3,000, and the rest are 250 maybe. Insane form. And that is my team. And overall, the team's rating, I believe, is 61. Now, you may say, oh, it's biased. You're really putting yourself way above. But I am doing the reviewing, and... And I've, I've I've picked these players because I feel like that's a good team. I'm not going to pick players that are going to be bad. Um, I feel like all these are um, are good, and this is basically like what my video was going to be if I had would have had the time with all the steals and the good players. Where I feel like all these players can be good. I mean, I've I've veered away from the one goalkeeper because um, if Arsenal do have a uh, let's say Arsenal are playing um, you know going away to um, City or away to Man United or away to Chelsea or a team like that. And, um, you know, you, you can sort of expect there will be good chances for both sides. There will be goals for both sides. And then Villa might have, let's say, Watford don't come up with any good form. Might have Watford at home. You think that's an easy, clean sheet. So it gives you an option there. And it gives you options everywhere. Because even with Jordan Ibe, you might have come on the bench and have a good start to the season. You just never know. But 61, that puts me on top of the leaderboard. Next episode will be the final episode in which we look over everyone's team submitted. Well, I think there might, might be a small video segment on them. But I'm not too sure. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. Let me think in the comments down below and subscribe if you feel like I'm worthy. We're so close to the Premier League season. My new series called Predict uh, will be coming soon. But thank you guys for watching and peace.